Have you been over to Mashable and as you're reading an article and you start scrolling down, you notice that over here on the left, the social sharing icons follow you down so you can tweet something out, you can share something on Facebook, and so on. We got stumble upon, emailing, and just general sharing. Do you ever wonder how they do that? Well, my name is Adria and today I'm going to show you how. Now, there's the hard way to go about doing it where you actually grab some code here, modify it, and then put it into the footer of your blog or your website. But I found a much easier way to do this using WP Beginner's smart sharing plugin that they have created. So you go here, plug in your email address, and you will be sent a special plugin that you can go ahead and upload and install to your WordPress site. I received this email, so I clicked to download my plugin. And once it was installed into WordPress, I'm running WordPress 3.1, I went over here to Smart Sharing, and then I did a little bit of configuration, which included, did I want it on the left or the right? Now, in my case, I have two sidebars on the right, so I chose the left side. We can see here for one of my blog posts that has a video, how to convert iPhone voice memos to MP3. It's been retweeted 17 times via tweet meme, and uh, it's been shared on Facebook 29 times. So then I'm also asked, uh, what do I want uh, this to be in terms of distance from the edge? So from left to right, I put 380. If I go ahead and um, de default this out, it'll be 20. And then if I default this out, it'll be 100. Let's see how that looks. I personally thought it looked a little weird and off. We'll come back over here and do a refresh. And you'll notice there's that new toolbar, which is part of 3.1. Whoa, that's kind of far away and lonely. Who sees that? So that's why I adjusted it. I adjusted both the distance from the left to the right. What I have in here, 380. And then I put 400 to move it down as well because I want it right near the article. So as people are reading the article title, they go, hey, I think I want to share this. Uh, I chose to add a retweet button. It asked me what my Twitter account was, and I picked a Facebook button. You can go ahead and pick additional buttons, or you can put in your own custom code. Like if you did want someone to be able to email it to someone else, you could use share this, add to any, or your own custom code. Like I could say, hi, Twitter, which that's not actually a link, but you could really put anything in there you want, even encouraging people to subscribe to your newsletter. So let's go ahead and refresh this again. Hi, Twitter. See how it says that in there? So uh, then you can go ahead and add some additional CSS styling, changing the background color of the box, and so on. But that is how you go ahead and set up the smart sharing plugin, which was made available by WP Beginner, so that when your visitors come to your site and as they're reading your article and your post and your comments, it'll be easy for them to go ahead and share with other people what they find.